1 Chronicles chapter 10 Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled before the Philistines, and fell slain on Mount Gilboa. The Philistines overtook Saul and his sons, and the Philistines killed Jonathan and Abinadab and Malshua, sons of Saul. The battle pressed hard on Saul, and the archers found him, and he was wounded by the archers. Then Saul said to his armor-bearer, Draw your sword, and thrust me through with it, so that these uncircumcised may not come and make sport of me. But his armor-bearer was unwilling, for he was terrified. So Saul took his own sword and fell on it. When his armor-bearer saw that Saul was dead, he also fell on his sword and died. Thus Saul died, he and his three sen sons and all his house died together. When all the men of Israel who were in the valley saw that, saw that the army had fled, and that Saul and his sons were dead, they abandoned their towns and fled. And the Philistines came and occupied them. The next day when the Philistines came to strip the dead, they found Saul and his sons fallen on Mount Gilboa. They stripped him and took his head and his armor and sent messengers throughout the land of the Philistines to carry the good news to their idols and to the people. They put his armor in the temple of their gods and fastened his head in the temple of Dagon. But when all Jabesh Gilead heard everything that the Philistines had done to Saul, all the valiant warriors got up and took away the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons, and brought them to Jabesh. Then they buried their bones under the oak in Jabesh, and fasted seven days. So Saul died for his unfaithfulness. He was unfaithful to the Lord in that he did not keep the commandment of the Lord. Moreover, he had consulted a medium, seeking guidance, and did not seek guidance from the Lord. Therefore the Lord put him to death, and turned the kingdom over to David, son of Jesse.